this week's trip is taking us to Pahuska, Oklahoma. Um, if anybody knows who the Pioneer Woman is, I've been a fan for a lot of years and I'm excited. We're going to go check out their ranch and her lodge and her mercantile. This has been a trip that I've wanted to go on for quite a while now. We're also going to possibly check out some stuff on the Route 66, which is probably Route 66, but everybody says everything different these days, <laughs> right? So. Him either, not really. We hear it all kinds of ways. Yeah. But we're staying in the Old Sage Hills State Park. Not sure how that is either. This is all new for us. Hopefully, if it's new to you, you'll get to check it out with us. See you when we get there. So we can't say this trip has not been uneventful. First, we had to go and get a tire stem fixed before we could leave. Then, for some reason, one of our tires decided it was gonna go flat, but we haven't figured out why yet. We put air in it, it's just fine. So our six hour trip's turning into about eight or nine, but we're gonna get there tonight. Maybe midnight, but we're gonna get there. Right now it's showing 10 o'clock. We're supposed to be there, so we're gonna be setting up in the dark. We'll just set up and uh, get in bed. That's right. Then we'll get up tomorrow and have some fun. Stinky butt. She's stinky. You stinking us out. We're stuck in traffic and she's stinky butt. <laughs> Real, you stinky butt. You did, huh? <laughs> We're gonna change your diaper. We gotta get out of this traffic first. I know. tickets to go out to her ranch. They're only allowing you to go out to the ranch and tour the lodge on Fridays and Saturdays right now. So luckily today's a Friday since we don't really do very many things public wise. So we're gonna hopefully it's not gonna be that busy. That's the that's the goal to be able to go. Go early when it's not busy. We got lucky so far today. It was supposed to have a 50% chance of rain and now that changed to 15%. So hopefully we'll be able to do some other outdoor stuff and check things out in town today without getting like soaking wet like we thought we were going to be before.
put you over here. I don't want you getting run over. There you go. Bye, turtle. They're all over this dirt road. I'm saving another turtle. Hang on. Little yellow belly turtle. That's the second turtle we passed. And we're just on a dirt road. I don't even see any water. I know, I don't, I don't know. There must be land turtles. Yeah. They're just cute little baby yellow belly turtles. Maybe they're not babies. Maybe that's the normal size. But yeah, we turned off of the main highway and now we're down this dirt road. And as you can see, it's just a whole lot of land and tall grass. I'm excited. I've always wanted to come out here and see where she films her show. Check it out in person. I feel like I got purpose now in my life. Because saving. he's saving turtles. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're almost there. It's the longest trip. It tells you 12 miles this way, 6 miles well, that six way, 3 more a... miles that way. Yeah. So 6 miles of it right here is on a gravel road going miles an hour so that's going to take a little bit and the main secret is don't turn where it says drum and ranch because that's not the street <laughs> no. well we're almost there and we'll let y'all see how it looks when we get there Did you like it in there? Yeah. Yeah? I'm starting to get too many people right now. Yeah. This time when to we come first out. got in there, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, at least yeah. we got to see it. It's, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Cool little show. Yeah, you liked it, huh, baby girl? Yeah, I thought it was just going to be like a studio or something. But it goes forever. Mm -hmm. This is this connects yeah, to the whole house. a studio and a hotel. Five Basically. Room, four five four bedrooms. Room, four Could bedrooms. be five. Could be five. Hotel rooms. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. on the TV and it was by far 
a lot more than I expected. Because on the show, I don't know if anybody knows who she is, but on the show, her family comes in and eats with her after she cooks, or they sit around by the fireplace and watch TV. It just looks like a little, small little area. And it was 7,000 square feet. It had four bedrooms that were set up like a hotel rooms. Like, they, maybe they rent them out or whatever. If you go even further back, there's a full test kitchen where they come up with her recipes and... It's professional. It's, like a, it's professional a professional kitchen. Everything's professional grade in there. It's and what looks like it could be even another bedroom, but they have it set up like a conference room because it has its own bathroom and everything. And possibly two more bedrooms back there, but there's a full pantry for the test kitchen back there that had like a Jack and Jill bathroom with the other room. And the view, the view was amazing. Like just, you could just see as, as far as you could go. I mean, if you don't know about her, you you really just need to watch her show on Food Network and you need to come and check out her ranch. It's just amazing. It's like the biggest, it's the 17th biggest cattle ranch that's still active in the country. It's 433,000 acres. I mean, you could get lost out there. I, mean, I can't even as imagine as you can see, how big. Like, crazy. Yeah. And it's all hilly and it's, it's nice. It's a real pretty view, especially from that, the lodge. It's overlooking the ranch. It's beautiful. If I could cook, I wish I could cook. I mean, just to, to know. I mean, she started out as a food blogger and then got picked up by the Food Network. And from what they were telling us in there, she comes up with all of her recipes. She does all the work. She scripts. If it needs a script, she scripts the whole show. She's very talented for just being... Before this, she was mom who takes care of the four kids and homeschools them and helps her husband run the ranch and now she owns a 26,000 square foot mercantile and another version of it, a small ice cream shop across the street she writes books I didn't even know she has a children's book series out about based off of her dog Charlie I think it is so I'm gonna have to look into that pretty impressive it's very impressive for someone who was a food blogger like just doing it in her spare time while she took care of her kids so but yeah check her out well we got back to camp and set everything up uh relaxed a little bit last night when we got in all we did was leveled it and went to bed because it was about 11 o'clock when we got in last night so but we got back to camp today and we set it up the awnings out we're all good now but uh, we're gonna go check out the park now. Tour it a little bit, but the first thing we're gonna do is uh, go on this hike. It's to Sand Creek Falls Trail. There's supposed to be some waterfalls at the end of it. I think there's three of them. We'll see. I don't think they're supposed to be that spectacular, but we're gonna check it out though. So, here we go. We got a, a, a pebble jump or a puddle jump for two for kids. Yeah. What do you think, baby? Is it pretty? Some pretty waterfalls? Yeah? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Well, that was, um, again, a surprise. I didn't think they would be that pretty. I thought they'd just be the, like the, like the, I don't know, the ones you like you see in Fort Worth where it's like concrete built up and 
the water's going over top of them, yeah. man-made kind of things. Yeah. But no, those were pretty. I like them. Yeah, I was just looking back at the footage from the one I just recorded, and I want to apologize right now of how sweaty I am. Yeah, it's pretty humid out here. It's only like mid-80s today, but dang. It is hot. Yeah, it feels, feels more than that. But I'm pretty gross, and I apologize. It might be just because I'm so fat, like my mama said, <laughs> and my granny said, but I'm working on that. But yeah, just want to apologize, throw that in there. I know it's gross, but it's a part I'm of doing it. It's a I'm part doing of it. It's a part of hiking. It's a part of everything. Yeah. I no. don't usually no, sweat. No. I'm sweating. Yeah, no, she ain't really. <laughs> yeah, she's lying. She ain't sweating. Yes. I'm fat, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She'll try to make up excuses and make it better, but no, I know why. I know why. It's like it's actually only 60 degrees out here and no humidity. I'm you just lie. Like, <laughs> so liar. I know. No, it's it's pretty humid out here. Yesterday it rained all day, so and then it's in the 80s high, mid 80s right now. So I'm gonna blame it a little bit on that, but. We all know what the real reason is. Uh, sorry. They're getting something. Hey, buddy. Oh, he growled at you. Today was a great day it really was uh, we started off this morning getting breakfast at Reed Drummond's um, Mercantile. Mercantile they got a restaurant in there and that food was so good it really was the breakfast was really really good so it's so good we're gonna go get it again tomorrow yeah they brought out biscuits before we even got our food and it came with this raspberry jam Oh my God, I wish they sold it. We couldn't find where they sold it anywhere in there. Uh, we might ask tomorrow if they actually sell it somewhere. But yeah, it was it was amazing. But so we're gonna go back there tomorrow for breakfast because it was so good and everything else probably so good too. So hopefully it, we don't That's let us down this time. That's not all we got. That's not all we got. We got cinnamon rolls. Oh. We got I don't even think it's on their menu on here. Oh, yes, it is. It's a pecan sticky buns. Mm hmm And then I don't like coffee, but they have something called a spicy cowgirl, and it was pretty good. It was real good. It's got cayenne pepper in it. Yeah. Yeah. But Weird, it but was, it was good. No, it was, it wouldn't have been, it was suggested to me, and uh, I went with it. I'm glad I did go with it because, uh, thank you, Myra. For suggesting it because i'm definitely getting me another one tomorrow but yeah we're gonna go back there tomorrow after that we went out to the the drummond ranch out to her what's it called uh, her lodge her lodge and check that out it was like we said earlier it was it was great yeah. Yeah, it was really really great but now we're gonna now we're gonna go to bed <laughs> we out. we hiked after we got back and we hiked and hiked that the park ranger actually stopped by and said are y'all gonna stop hiking you know <laughs> basically he, he said y'all are getting a up. yeah he, he said y'all are getting <laughs> he said y'all are getting a good work uh, walk in today aren't y'all and she said, well, said well, he, well he's trying to kill me <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah we we did a lot of hiking today went and saw waterfalls so we're our legs are feeling it it's been a long day and i think we're gonna sleep pretty good but this uh We've been doing so much that we're going to turn this episode into at least a two-part episode. But So this is going to be the end of the first episode of it. But we got a lot more to do in this trip. So it's going to be at least two-part. Might be three-part. We're not sure according to how much we do. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the first one. It's been a good one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Um, can you say hi? Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. It really helps us out. It really helps us to build our channel. 
we're trying to get up to that 100 subscriber that's our that's our big threshold that we're trying to get up to on this first uh goal of ours so we're more than halfway there but if you can please share and comment that would be great Somebody go subscribe sleepy. so until next time we're gonna get some sleep see y'all tomorrow